Hello everyone, this is Yuki Mizuno here. Welcome back to my OP of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we defeated Azalea Jim and Bugsy, who is the leader there. In this episode, we are going to head out. Oh yeah, we also defeated our rival in the last episode. Whoops. I meant to do that in this episode, but oh well. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to go to the Ilex Forest and um stuff. I already caught the Pokemon now. I wanted to catch here in the second to last episode. So yeah. So but that'll be the thumbnail for this episode, because that's where I caught her at. Anyway, like I was saying, even though oh Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry! The farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch has sensitive ears. He was stuck on step on the branch so face towards you, then then there's your chance. So yeah, basically you had to get behind them. And stuff. And whenever you step on the branches here, they will turn in that direction. So don't step on that one. Over there. This one's easy. Hua! You snuck up behind him before it noticed you. Oh, yeah. And luckily, it, they'll teleport you all the way back here. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, yeah, I know. I told you. I already told the people that in the, com in the, in the video. Yeah, in the comments, I told people to do that. Anyway, let's not run. Let's see, where is that far fetch at? Oh, it's right there. So what we need to do is actually... Let's see, which way do I want to do it at? Yeah, I will do it this way. Because it'll be easier that... Game! And then he'll run off in that direction. That's where you want him to go, to be precise. Let's see. Oh, this way. Game. Anyway, this we gotta go to this branch right here, and don't step on that branch up there, or else it'll turn around. You know, I should actually be facing these caterpies and metapods with um, Buffio, so he can get his happiness up. Anyway, there you go. That's how you do it. Don't, make sure you don't step on that upper branch right there, or else it'll turn around, and then you'll be screwed. Wow, you got both got me both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Oh, there's this boss. Oh. Ah, uh, my, my far and far... F what? My far and fetch. That's their nicknames. That's stupid. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to ch cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? Yeah, no, here, take this um, HM. Okay. I was set to him. And this one is for cut. Which, you know, we can cut that tree over there. Yay, convenient. Anyway, I, what I want to do next besides I'll teach my Pokemon, one of my Pokemon, um, this TM, wait, I mean, HM, is, um, do something else. Who can learn this? Three Pokemon. Actually, four. Uh, oh. Hmm. I'll take it to Quina. Because why not? Wait, who can learn Rock Smash? I'm curious. About the other one, that and Garnet and Swole. But not the ones I wanted to learn. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to click A or B. Yeah, it's A. Anyway, let's, get, let's actually go back into town for a second. <laughs> anyway, like I was trying to say, um, let's go back into town because we will meet those guys again at their house or workshop or whatever back in Azalea Town. So let's go talk to them and get a cool item for one of our Pokemon. Anyway, um, we talked to this kid. I'm sorry, I forgot to thank you. This is charcoal I made. Fire type moves will become more powerful when a Pokemon holds up. Very, very nice. Because uh, we have our Squall, who is the fire type. Very nice. Let's uh, actually equip that right now. Because I want to. No, not switch. Item. And thank you. No, we're not giving him an HM. We are giving him our charcoal. Actually, I need to put that Miracle Seed on Eris. That'll be helpful. Very nice. Yay! Okay. Actually, do I have a quick wall? I don't think I do. I thought we'd get it by the, at least this point, but whatever. Let's actually look and see what this guy at the Pokemon has. Blue Mail Heel Ball or Netball. Hmm. I won't mind having a, this. I'll take two. I'll take Tyson. Okay, um, and then I'll take four of these. 
I'm going to be using those eventually, maybe. I don't know. Uh, of course I will. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't need them. Anyway. I'm going to Pokemon Center for a second. Okay, I'm back out. I decided to put Hope in the PC because I'm going to get another Pokemon soon. It's not a permanent member of my team. Neither is Hope or this other Pokemon I want to get. But first things first, I need to go into Alex Forest in order to even get this TM I need to get this Pokemon. So yeah. Oh, come on. Why does that sound like you? That, that, that cry there, it sounds like you, but I know it's a Paris. Hmm, whatever. Probably just the same cry, and it's just the whole game being weird. Anyway, let me, I guess I can keep this in, it's a new Pokemon in the area. So, yeah. Or does it sound like me too? I still can't tell. One of the Mew families. Anyway, let's actually cut down this tree. Yes, I would like to use cut. You know, I would really like to get like a game chart so I can like do all these special events that I missed back in the day. Oh. Like I said, I would- I would've- GAME! You know, I don't really mind like running into random battles every once in a while. But you know, it's kind of annoying. Most of the time. And it mm. Okay. Let me see if there's an item over here. Yes, there is! Next attack! Very, very nice. Uh, even though I don't use those items too much. I'm actually just gonna walk out of here. I know there's an item over here. Hidden behind this tree is an antidote. Very nice. If only I had Surf, I would just take a shortcut over there, but no. Nope, nope. Game won't let me have it. Okay. Wait, stop calling me. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. He's getting me more berries. Even I didn't get them in the first place. Oops. But yeah, he's calling to call me and tell me that I can get some berries from him. Uh, let's annoy that Komodo girl up there and get and have to do something that I plan to do over here. That's probably not running to do anything. Thing. Oh yeah, he gets a, he gets a cutscene. I forgot about that. That guy is headbanging this tree. What am I doing? I'm shaking the trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, why don't you try with your Pokemon too? Oh, it's learn. Oh yeah, it's a learn tutor thing. That's good. Um, actually, yeah, let's let's let Bothy learn how to do this because he's a normal type. Let's see. What can I get rid of? His attack can be high. I don't want to get rid of Metronome because that's kind of like what Togepi is known for so far. Uh, I'll get rid of Charm. Because I like that extra sensory. And I technically don't really need it. But it's always good to have. And that's the thing. I think that's like his egg move. And that's why it's so unique. Yes. He is stronger. Um, let's see. If we can actually do this multiple times actually. I think any Pokemon can learn it. Let me see. Let me check up on that. The Squall learn it. Yeah. Okay, then that'll be better for me than Quick Attack, I think. Let's check and see. 70 power compared to 40 power. But even though Quick Attack has priority, I don't care. Headbutt can flinch. You know, that's a weird word, headbutt. It's like, you know. <laughs> I think I said that before once. Or someone else did, and I just happened to be repeating it. Uh, let's see it. Let's actually get on all of our Pokemon. Oh, because it doesn't have that much of a head? That's racist. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, it's not. It's just, it actually makes sense. Let's, uh, get rid of Tackle. Yes. Poof. Now everybody knows Headbutt except for Eris. Yeah, good job. And I would actually be using this technique to actually get, uh... Togepi's in the air! <laughs> okay, that was cute looking. Um, he was still in the air, and then he cut back to when he was on the ground. Anyway, let's actually go back to Azalea Town, because I actually need to find a Pokemon there. Yes, actually in Azalea Town. And then we'll be right back, hopefully. Okay. Be right back. Finally. Yes! Yes, I found it. It's a Heracross. Cool, that took forever. Well, not really forever, but 
A lot of times we're unsuccessful. Let's actually get grounded down here. Oh, it's level 5? Well, crap. Let's, um, use, um, Thunder Wave on it so it'd be weakened. At least e makes it easier to catch. That'd be good. Um, this is not gonna be a permanent member of my team. I just need it for something the next gym. Yeah. We all know what's coming up next, so I'm gonna be prepared for it. Anyway, I caught, I mean, I bought those, these net balls right here, two of them. So let's don't use one. It's easy to catch water and bug type Pokemon. Or Surskin. Yeah, Surskin would be a good Pokemon to catch in these balls because it's both water and bug. Anyway, Heracross is caught. Hooray! I'm not going to be using you on my team as a permanent member, but just temporary. Single horn Pokemon. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'll be giving you an appropriate nickname. Sabin. There you go. And you are now a temporary member. And by temporary, I mean he's not going to be like an HM slave or anything, but he's just going to be like temporary party. Like, oh, I need to heal Okay. And yeah, I will be training him up for the next gym. So yeah. And yeah, um, I will... N I'm still going to go to the Alex Forest since I'm going to heal up first. Yay. Come on, get this over with. Yes, 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 yes. And I will be using him so far. And, and I don't know if you noticed or not. Like, I was going to cut it away while I was trying to find this guy right here. Um, but here, Rosie got... And cheeks got rosy, so that means he's gonna his happiness is probably up there, so I will still be training him up a little bit. I guess I'll keep him in the second slot. Keep you right here. Gwenna, you're useless. Well not not in Final Fantasy 9, but just in just in my game. Anyway, save my game because I don't want to do that again. It took me like probably about five minutes to find this guy. And it's a male hair across. Uh, the female hair across actually looks a little bit different with the swarms. And I was going to name it Tifa if it was female, but whatever. Because, you know, fighting types. Makes sense. Your cross looks so big, oh my god. Anyway, let's um go through the Ilex Forest again and actually get into random battle so he will level up. Because that would be nice. Okay. I got so many, like, grass and bug types on my team right now, but that's okay. Then it's not going to be always that way. Always be that way. There we go. Actually, you know what? Get into this random battle. Anyway, I was going to say, um, I'm going to teach Headbutt to, um, um, Sabin here. So let me do that for a second. Because Tackle is weaker than Headbutt. So yeah. And it's less accurate too, so. Whatever. Yes, forget Tackle, please. Thank you. Seven so learned Headbutt. There you go. Yes, he does look stronger. And he is strong. Anyway. Um. Ugh. Anyway, let's go. Let's get on with the show here. The locomotive girl that I've been ignoring this whole time. Come on, a girl. Come on, a girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Ilex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Um, yeah, it's just right over there. You will? Aren't you lost in this forest as well? No, I know where to go. Oh, well, Heracross is going to show her the way. Well, aren't you going to show me the... Aren't you, yeah, you're such a smart Pokemon. Thank you. Yes, my Heracross is smart, even though I just caught it. Back your hair across. Thank you. What do you got to say? So I've been starting in the sunlight coming through the trees. That's nice. It's found here's an ether. Very nice. Ether? Okay. Uh let's what do I think I'll be here? No. Just a odd passage for nothing. Yep. A zoo bat? Well, that's weird. It's daytime. It's like 12:54 p.m. It's weird. I guess this is a dark place in the forest. I don't know. Eh, whatever. You know, I would catch Zubat and use him. I'm using it. I'm going to use it first some other time. 
like next next time like LP wise next time like another Pokemon game next time anyway I'm gonna skip all the trainers in this route yes I know I know I know stupid trainer tips um I'm gonna skip all the trainers in this route except for this one I guess Well, I guess it's a good thing we did fight this girl, because if you, um, get her phone number afterwards, she'll actually give you something, eventually. Fitnick or Gina. Okay. Um, I'm not too worried about a hop if even though it's like three levels higher than me. See? Because hop hits aren't really that good. I do love my shiny, um, uh, my shiny jump wall, and that's very good. And why do you synthesis? That's annoying. Don't do that. Anyway, like I was saying, I actually have a shiny jump bluff look like Kirby. I named it I named it Wits after Jay Wits, you know. He actually got a actually when I did find it and I actually tweeted the picture to him, he was like, Ooh, I like that. <laughs> shiny hop dip. That's when that's how I found it, but now it's a jump bluff. Anyway, we're level seven. Hooray. I would show it to you guys, but I'm in this game right now. And wait, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Theory of Hmm. No. I like Endure. That's a good move. No wait, I didn't mean to press B there. Now I'm going to press A. There you go. <laughs> Whoops. Bulbasaur. Hmm. I will switch. Well actually no, I don't have a bug type move, so I will switch. Both yeah, come out here. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. It's Vothier. I guess I was just wanting to be fancy with his name. Like he is. And Bob has as well. Anyway. Let's kill this guy. This little Bulbasaur. I like Bulbasaur. You guys see me use my Gino, my Bulbasaur, my LP of Fire Red. Which I need to get back to, but I'm still leveling up. And it was super effective and cr a crit. Very nice. Huh. <sighs> What's next? Another hop it? Nah, I don't want to switch. Let Gina, I mean, let Bothier get all the experience. Yeah, Gina's gonna go and get get all the experience points, even though she's a. That's who we're facing. Whatever. Okay, extra sensory. Get bigger and then smaller again. Okay. Since stop doing that. I know it's supposed to heal HP and it gets powerful as um. Uh, if you're in sunlight, but still, I don't want to, to do that because it makes me not win fast enough. Anyway, he's dead. Or, er, it. No, it's a she. Okay. It's a she hop hip. Female. Whatever. Anyway, we have to feed Gina. And if we talk, get her phone number, we, she will eventually give us a leaf stone. So I'm actually going to do that. I won't be using it, but, you know. Technically, I could have a Pokemon that could use it, but I don't want it to evolve into that. Woohoo! Okay. Oh. Grandpa! Forgot about this. It's Ethan! Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has become healthy as can be. You look fit, too. You mean your Meryl? Hey, Phoenix. Let me introduce you. This is Phoenix. She's a trainer. She seems to be getting better at raising- Hey! Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Phoenix. Is that- are these really his grandparents, or did he just call and young Grandpa would just be rude or something? You could just call him Sensei or whatever. Let me introduce my friend, this is Phoenix. Aha, this is your girl friend. I see. Hmm. What? Why, Grandma? What are you talking about? She just has them to live nearby. Ha ha, I know, I know. Since you took her here, Ethan, you should be- yeah. Um, this is the daycare people. If you have a ditto, you can breed with any Pokemon, really. And we get his phone number. Okay. I don't know if I will be using the daycare center here. Unless I find a ditto or something. I know I can't find a Japanese ditto like I used to, but whatever. Because the Wi-Fi connections are off. Or the services, at least. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh. I have an idea. I'll, I'll give you our phone numbers. They can check on the Pokemon Relay Street. Yeah, this is very helpful. 
Because he will actually call you and tell you, hey, there's an egg here. Pretty much. That's what, that's what you really need to use the service for. You don't really need to raise Pokemon. You just need to breed them in order to get eggs. That's what I do anyway. You can fight this guy during the night. Because he'll say, are you suspicious? Or whatever. Actually, is there something over here? Yeah, but I'll get it later. That was an item. Anyway, now we're in Goldenrod City. Welcome to Goldenrod. Anyway, I'm, I, don't, I think I'm going to stop it here because it's now 33 minutes long in this video and I don't want it to go on any further. Anyway, I'll see um, in the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, we will explore... God, I, I'm drooling everywhere. We will explore um, Goldenrod City and see what we can do here. And also try to face up against Whitney, but not yet. Um, I'll see you guys next time and let's play Pokemon Heart Gold. Bye for now.